George has never run so fast. Never paddled so powerfully. And never lingered so little over his chili cheese mango. Could George get that to go? Don't worry. George will get you back to your mommy, little... <laughs> chili cheese mango? No! Ow! Yuck! Where's my baby? Don't worry, ma'am. <laughs> yes, it's George's cousin, Larry of the Jungle. Note his fancy loincloth, impractical shoes, and his love for Cousin George. Ooh. I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> for me? <laughs> Cousin Larry. Hey, George, see how I saved that baby taper? Did you see it? I got a trophy. Look, it's shiny. It sure is. Lucky I brought my trophy case. You sure have a lot of trophies, Cousin Larry. Well, you only win if you're a winner, and I'm a winner, George. Hugging contest? I win. Come on, Seven. Oh, no, Snake Mouth. Don't you mean Snake Eyes? No, I mean Mouth. He ate the dice. <laughs> oh, no, it's George's cousin, Larry. A guest! Maybe he brought presents! Uh, Larry is completely obnoxious. Ever since they were little kids, he had to beat George at everything. My sandcastle's bigger than yours. I win! My shovel's bigger than yours. I win! My pet is... <laughs> smaller than yours. I win! Oh, I thought I had you on that one. And George never calls him on it. Why not? <sighs> George is just too nice to realize that Larry is a conniving troublemaker. <laughs> I got here first! I win! <laughs> yeah. Cousin Larry, you remember Ape. Hi, Ape. I said hi first. I win. Hi, Larry. And this is Ursula and Magnolia. A board game? Let me play. I have my own dice. 85. I win. Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, he's the always winning guy. He's funny. <laughs> you must be tired after dragging that beautiful trophy case all the way here. Join us for dinner? Race you to that tree. Lose a dozen dishes. I win. Enthusiastic, I like that. First place, three-legged race. First person to climb Mike Everest. Uh, a guy he went to school with. <laughs> Guess who lost again to Larry? Hey, hey, I just rifled through your closet. You know who has the most blue shirts? Me! Let's celebrate me winning by going on a picnic. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make you guys carry everything, but I did beat you at the having fewest letters in your name contest. Wait a minute. I have the shortest name. Animals not included, no take backs, no give backs, no double whammies. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Let's relax for a little while before we eat. <laughs> Ooh, who's most relaxed? Me, I'm not even moving. I win! I get to jump on everyone's stomach! Oh. Mm. I never get this angry. I don't get tired of new shoes as fast as I'm getting tired of Cousin Larry. Shh! Larry's winning sleeping contest! Mm. Win. Mm. Win. George, we hate to say this, but Cousin, Cousin Larry, Larry has to go! go. Shh. We can't kick out George's family! <laughs> yes, we can. In fact, let's have a contest to see how far out we can kick him. But Larry gave us the picnic! Don't you see? He's a winaholic. He only picks games he can't lose. I hate to say this, George, but I'm in complete agreement. Ha! There, see? No, George, with Magnolia. Boy, Abe changes mind pretty quick. I always agreed with Magnolia. I don't like him. None of us do. Also, we believe he cheats. <gasps> George will sit on forgetting Rock now until he forgets what Ape just said. Where? I forget. Where is forgetting Rock? So, George sat upon the forgetting Rock, and he forgot. He forgot and forgot until he couldn't remember what he was forgetting. Big hairy 
scary beast is growling, but George forgets what he's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this guy anywhere? George's cousin Larry. Yeah, he's staying with me and Ape, but Ape was mean to him. Uh-oh, George was supposed to forget that. Forget. <laughs> Beat Larry. Beat Larry. Hey, wait. George won't let you hurt Larry. We won't hurt Larry. We Yeti are scary but peaceful creatures. We do not fight with our feast. We fight by eating pies. You see, we Yeti take great pride in our pie eating. And each spring, we win the annual pie gobbling holdown. For centuries, Yetis have won. This year, we were robbed. We are absolutely convinced that Larry cheated at... Yeah? Uh, I forgot. There's no way Larry ate more pies than a Yeti. They're famous for that. And stealing Mountaineer's girlfriends. He must have cheated. George will prove Larry's no cheater at a jungle pie gobbling rematch with that bunch of sore loser Yetis. Yetis? Um, you know, George, maybe instead we can just flip a coin. Look, I have one right here. <laughs> hmm. Why so nervous, Larry? You win every contest, remember? Maybe we could do this at night. Uh, in the dark, I'm usually hungrier around 9, 9.30. Nope, broad daylight, so everyone will see Larry win. Will there be a pie-eating puppy under the table? No way. Plus, George has a dozen unbribable monkey judges examine every pie. Oh, ow, my stomach, my head, my throat, my ankles. Larry's award-winning champion stomach, head, throat, ankles hurts? It's a rare two-hour virus. No problem. I'll just tell everyone to wait. I mean 22-hour virus. George will have to eat in my place. Please, George, we're family. Oh, all right. George will do it for family. Yeah! George, you don't have to do this. Larry can forfeit. Never! Then everyone might think Cousin Larry is a cheater. <sighs> Ready? <sighs> Begin! George Mr. Crumb! He didn't swallow! He put two in his mouth at once! No fair! What's Larry doing? You'd almost think he didn't want George to win. No. Oh. George, I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't think you'd believe me. But Larry made a bet that you would lose. What? Larry not sick? Larry cheated? I bet my room in the treehouse that you can do without cheating what he can only do with fake stomachs and pie-eating dogs in his pants. I believe in you, George. George won't let Ape down. For once, George going to beat lying, cheating, faking Larry. Let's do this! <laughs> It's all tied up. Come on, George, you can do it. Almost there. Yetis for this honor. And now, George would like to give this trophy to your loving, much more deserving cousin. To the first Yeti to chase Cousin Larry out of the jungle. Yeah. What? <laughs> when? George, that was amazing. To celebrate, let's go out to dinner. Uh oh. I think. I think I'm gonna be. Get a garbage can! Get a garbage truck! <laughs> 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 
But girls raised in the urban jungle are not so natural. Ursula, be careful! How hard can it be? hurt swinging on a vine. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Behold! My brand new tree collision avoidance system. It's super easy. Just grab the blue vine, merge left on the red arrow, slow down at flashing yellow lights, and always stop for orangutans. The natural beauty of the wild can never be tamed by the regulations of so-called civilization. Just try it. <laughs> I stand corrected, Ursula. Your system has taken the hodgepodge of nature's beauty and turned it into a simple, orderly way to maneuver through the jungle. George, I can't wait to see what you think. Go on. <laughs> Good thing sign there. George almost hit tree. Ow! But I don't want to wear a helmet. It makes George look stupid. This is just until you learn the system. Besides, no one's going to be looking at your helmet. Oh, really? Not when you're wearing the matching safety vest. Plus, a parachute backpack and boots that light up and talk. Please help me. I am Vine Challenge. George, maybe you should pull over to a slower vine. Uh oh, not a vine! Please help me, I am vine challenged. Maybe you could enroll in Apes Academy of Remedial Vine Swinging. Uh, does George have to wear a safety outfit? Not if you do well in class. Yeah! Vine challenged, vine challenged. Okay, class, who can tell me what this is? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> a snake standing up? It is a vine. V I N E. Can Ape repeat that? Moving on to proper vine grabbing technique. Professor Ape, uh, there's something behind you? Just ignore it. <laughs> hey, no kid. Why are you in this dumb class? George just needs to learn new system better. <laughs> George! B -b -b but it wasn't... Hijinks will not be tolerated. After school, you will clean the gum off everyone's tree stump. Sorry. Pete really has it in for you. A clear jungle yell tells everyone you're ready to swing. George, let's have a jungle yell, then jump off. Hey, I know what we should call a new kid. Thud. Because that's the sound his head makes when it hits stuff. <laughs> hey, thud. Oh, oh, call me George of the Jungle. No, see, if you hang with us, you gotta have a snappy nickname. They call me Snake, because I'm the baddest one. Then what do they call you? Norman. You see, Snake used to be called Snake, but then Monkey came along, and he was way badder, so he took the name Snake. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. George, I think it would be best for everyone if you wore this to class from now on. Whoa! You gonna let him make you wear that lame suit? 
Dad says no. Blah 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 It's getting harder to tell you boys in the back row apart. <laughs> Ape has appointed me school counselor to talk with his most troubled students. Whatever. School is boring, Ape is boring, Vine system is boring. So that's how it is, huh? Look, buddy boy, you better start thinking a little more about your future and a little less about the past. You need to stop hanging out with them troublemakers and start hanging out with the consequences of your actions. Come on, Thad. We're waiting for you. Oh, gotta go. The bad kids are waiting for me. Let's go pick on the baby crocodiles. Yeah, they're such babies. I say we make some crank calls. George! Cutting class, huh? Uh, George has a note. George has permission to skip boring school. Signed, Mean Ape. I didn't write this. Okay, detention for everyone. Detention? All right! Thud rocks. <laughs> Thanks, bad guys. Well, better hurry. Don't want to be late for detention. <laughs> no way. Huh? We're just getting started. See that coconut? Bet I can knock it out of the tree. <laughs> nice one. Awesome. That's why they call me Snake, because I do the baddest stuff. Oh, <laughs> let the try. <laughs> Whoa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, Thud should be Snake now. Hey, I worked hard to be Snake. Sorry, monkey. Thud deserves it more than you. Wow, <laughs> thanks! I'll show you who the real Snake is. What was that, Thud? <laughs> I'll show them all. later. Hey, that's Ursula's. Put it back. Do you still think you're the baddest, huh, big guy? All right. How about a little contest to see who's better? Um, no thank you. Oh, I see. Your chicken? Oh, no, he didn't. Snake, he just challenged you. Yeah. Let's play a little chicken. <laughs> if George wins, George is the leader? <laughs> sure. And we'll do whatever you say. We swing straight for each other. First one to flinch is the chicken. But we haven't passed our vine swinging test yet. What are you, huh? Two chicken to play chicken? Chicken! George will be right back. Don't do this! It's not safe! On the count of three. One, two, three! George! Hey! Nobody messes with safety. <gasps> oh, they're all gonna crash! Ooh, this'll be fun. Let's go!
Before we start class, I'd like to introduce you to your new teacher's aide, George. With my new temporary vine swinging license. Whoopee. Yeah. Vine challenge, vine challenge, vine challenge. 